Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol VEON. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you'd normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame that does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I didn't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. Very nice movement today, not necessarily today, but what separated it quite a bit from the past days is volume was nice and solid and probably even bigger, again, there's been some good solid volume in the past days too, but today just th things kicked up, you know, that much more. And overall though, the trend continues. So I wanna get some levels of support and resistance mapped out as we head into next week. First level of support, and what I would call the ideal level. And if you say, hey, Clay, what make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? And that would be if the price can stay up above 280. Now, don't get me wrong, if the price falls below 280, I'm not saying the entire chart is destroyed or ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price could manage to stay up above that level, that would definitely be a massive sign of strength going forward. But taking a step back and looking at all this from the bigger picture point of view, that is where the purple line here comes into play, the famous 50 period simple moving average, keyword being moving. As next week plays out, that line will continue to move itself higher and higher. So a very basic way to judge the health of the overall chart, the overall move, that right there being defined as the move. Just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. However you can best visualize that, that is what is being represented. Again, yeah, staying above 280 would be great, but from the grand scheme of it all, as long as the price is above that purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. What about levels of resistance going into next week? Nothing fancy or complicated behind this other than the fact of the party finally stopped today on two separate occasions right up there at 286. But resistance levels, they don't matter. They, they really don't matter on charts like this. What do I mean by charts, quote unquote, like this? Well, ones where you look at the lows and you see these lows just keep getting higher and higher. Or if you wanna picture those as stair steps, yes, I know arrows are not stair steps, but you get the idea. So as long as these stair steps continue to be built in the upwards direction, then everything else will take care of itself, including breaking levels of resistance. So the main focal point here is just continuing to go through healthy consolidations, building higher lows, and as long as that's the case, like I said, everything else will take care of itself. So just sit back and let the trend continue to do its thing. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.